Hi guys, this is JNM with a video for the Acid Weapon component for Unreal Engine 4. I'm following this asset for a while now and as I saw the update 3 I decided to do a kind of overview video in which I install the asset and show the demo scene and most of the features. First I'm downloading the asset and a new project for Unreal Engine 4.17 is created. The demo is opened and you start with a third-person player in the environment of the default third-person demo project and you can collect different kind of weapons like pistols, assault rifles, laser guns or grenade launchers. When pressing E or Q you can switch your weapons or you press H to holster your weapon. And you have also a complete inventory and a health system for the player. The other player that are dragged here into the scene reacts to damage as well. By holding the right mouse button down you enable the sniper mode. And now let me collect the assault rifle. And then press F to switch the fire mode to full auto. So let's have a look at the included components, for example the character. It is an extended and well documented third person character blueprint with a logic for picking up weapons or ammo, firing, reloading, switching or holstering the weapon and also the sniper scope zoom is added here. It has a reference to the character weapons component that for instance implements the inventory or you can also use it to define the initial weapon. Here I set it to the assault rifle with a particular amount of ammo and the fire mode full auto. When I start the game now you can see that the assault rifle is the default weapon with the full auto fire mode. If you would start your game from scratch and define the game mode, you could, like in the demo, set the player controller class to the included weapon component and the default pawn class to my character. In the UMG directory you can find a HUD widget component that displays the current weapon and the player's health. And there are also widgets to display the weapon's name or a floating text that appears for example when a character is hit by a bullet. All the weapons are defined in a data table called dt underscore weapons. Here you can set the weapon's name and type or properties like rate of fire, the available fire modes and also the skeletal mesh of the weapon or animations. If you would like to create your own weapons you can do this by adding them to this data table. Now let me add a weapon pickup to the scene by dragging in the BPA underscore parent weapon component. And now set the weapon ID that is defined in the DT underscore weapon data data table, the amount of ammo and the fire mode. I also have to set the dropped property to true so that it can be picked up by the character. In the blueprints folder there are pickups for the different ammo types that you can just drag into the scene.
For the weapons you can use several types of projectiles that are derived from the BPA underscore parent projectile. So I have to say the framework is really intuitive and extendable, so I can recommend the weapon component if you plan to create a shooter with the Unreal Engine. So guys, I hope you liked this short review and overview, and if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you have some ideas or wishes for new tutorials, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching this, and see you soon on JNM.